We go now to an experimental Alzheimer's drug slowing the progression of cognitive decline, and many are calling this a breakthrough. Now, our chief health editor, Dr. Parth Nandy, is joining us now. And Dr. Nandy, this sounds like good news, so uh, tell us how did the trials go? How effective was it? First of all, very exciting to me. I see so many patients with Alzheimer's, and this is an exciting development. Having said that, though, you know, if this experimental drug, if it proved down the road, is not for everyone diagnosed with Alzheimer's, the drug is called lesanumab and it's a monoclonal antibody treatment that's designed to target and get rid of these amyloid plaques in the brain. Now the drug was tested in patients with early stage Alzheimer's disease. There were nearly 1,800 folks that were participants and their progress was tracked over 18 months. And those who received the drug lesanumab Cognitive decline overall was slowed by 27% compared to participants who only received a placebo or dummy pill. Now listen, that number is not as high as we would hope. It could potentially give patients extra time to live a fuller life. Alzheimer's can be very debilitating. It's a progressive neurological disorder that causes brain cells to die. It often starts with mild memory loss and then can advance to disorientation, confusion, difficulty speaking, and the inability to recognize loved ones. It can be devastating. So coming out of COVID vaccine trials that were so fast, a year and a half sounds like a fair amount of time to test this. So was there any side effects involved? Yeah, this is the important thing, right? 21.3% Brian of the participants taking the drug experienced cerebral hemorrhages. Now they were known as amyloid related imaging abnormalities. The trial found 2.8% of the participants uh, that took the, the drug had swelling of the brain and 0.7% in the drug group had brain bleeding and iron buildup in the tissue. Although this all sounds really bad, the company says that this profile was within expectations when you come to placebo. Uh, and then when the drug is used correctly, side effects are manageable. Now, as for avoiding Alzheimer's, which I'm really interested in, we still aren't sure what causes it, but here are some steps to promote good brain health. First of all, exercise, eating a balanced diet, maintaining a healthy weight, taking care of your mental health and treating hearing loss. While it's great, you know, that we may have a new drug, I'm very excited because we need that. You know, in the, in the future this may come about, it has limitations and it's not a cure-all cure for everyone. We'll, we'll keep track of it and let you know, you know what comes about. But in the meantime, do everything you can to prevent it. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you as always. My pleasure. And if you have a health question for Dr. Nandy, you can email him, drnandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.